Hi friends and fellow Earth Angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to another one of my weekly Sunday card readings. And this spread will start by covering July 4th through the 10th or whenever you're guided to watch as I always intend these to be timeless readings. Meaning whenever this video pops up in your YouTube channel, that is the time that the messages are meant for you, regardless of the timestamp. So welcome friends. Happy 4th of July for those here in the United States. Let freedom ring. It has been an intense ride in the astrological stars. There's a lot shifting and hap uh, happening and shifting and I feel the energy of gratitude and gr I'm so very grateful for the freedoms that I have. So it is definitely a time to celebrate celebrate your own freedom your own independence and then the collective globally so earth angels are on the rise we're going deeper within and from there we rise up higher so this week I decided to work with angels um, angels have always been my first love I truly believe part of my story is that I truly believe that God sent his Archangel Michael to bring me back to the light. Michael found me in a very dark place where I wasn't open to spirituality or God or Jesus um, or anything of the like. And Archangel Michael slipped through the crack and then burst. It's almost like fireworks. I'm literally seeing the fireworks and like burst my heart wide open. So angels are my first love. I love to share about them. And you know, it's been an intense ride for a lot of us. So this week I'm, um, I'm, I'm being called to bring you some angel love. So the cards that I'll be using is the Archangel Oracle cards. And then a message of healing from Crystal Angels. And then what you're being gifted with this week with the Oracle of the Angels cards. And then what action you could take this week to support you in your spiritual journey with the Flower Therapy Oracle. And then finally, I'll finish with an angel prayer. So I love this style reading. It's one of my favorites. Let me start opening up space, inviting in all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, the divine mother and father, and all their holy beings of light who would like to assist with this guidance for you this week. I know I already said it, but I want to connect my heart to the heart of the archangel kingdom realm vibration. <laughs> And I'm going to ask that any messages that come through be for your best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned. All right, friends, let's begin. Which angel wants to work with us this week? Well, that didn't take long. So here we have popped out. All right. Oh, Angel Honeyell. Oh, she's the angel working with sensitivities. So Archangel Haniel, her message here says, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. This is so fitting for the way the planets and the stars are aligning this week. You know, there's a lot of astrologers talking about the intensity of the energy. And for me, you know, I see it as like an activation. It's an opportunity for, re for me to really dig into my healing and really look at things that I need to adjust and change and align with. So, um, you know, I was hearing that let freedom ring earlier, like that statement, let freedom ring ring and I'm also seeing uh, the sensitivity but Archangel Haniel she's also connected um, to the being the angel of joy the angel of joy laughter play and so we can transform if you think about a child and they're playing and then I don't know somebody comes along and knocks down their blocks and they pitch a fit they get angry about it 
and then they move on. Most often they pick themselves back up, build, build up their blocks again, and they go on with life, right? And so there's a lot to be said about that in the presence of a child, a child being so present and feeling all their emotions without judgment, without criticism, without shame, without blame, right? And so this week, if you're feeling extra sensitive, especially those that I've worked with or those of you that know that you have a three in your life purpose numbers. So I am um, a 3912-3 life path. So I am a three life path. So um, those that have the three in their life purpose numbers, they've come into this life to learn about expression and sensitivity, right? And so because three is a dominant number for me, it's my dominant life path number. As you can see, I use my gifts of sensitivity to express and communicate messages and guidance from the divine. So that's how I use that three energy. So this could be an exclamation point reading for those of you who have a three. We also have a new moon in Cancer coming up this week. So keep an eye out on my channel for that. Pick a card or pick a pile reading that will be coming out later this week. Um, and Cancer is about home. It's about family. It's a cardinal sign, meaning it starts off uh, a season, right? So Aries, Aries is a cardinal sign that starts off spring. Cancer is a cardinal sign that starts off summer. Libra is a cardinal sign that starts off fall. And Capricorn is a cardinal sign because it starts off um, winter. <laughs> so we're in a, we're in like the, the beginning is starting. We have changing of the seasons. And, and so we have big energy here. We've got now we're in a, now in summer energy. It, the heat is on, right? Heat. When I think about the sun, I think about masculine energy. So those of you who, who are sensitive could be feeling the intensity of that energy. So being able to call in and invite in the Archangel Haniel this week for joy and laughter, you can ask her, Archangel Haniel, um, you know, you can I, I talk to the angels like they're my best friends because they are my best friends <laughs> and so you know there's no special sacred space um you know that I need to be in to call on them I'm always connecting and aligned in, in some form or another so for me I would just say Archangel Haniel I'm really feeling the doldrums or I'm really feeling the fear I'm really feeling getting caught up or the mix or the intensity um I invite you in my life to activate the energy of joy and laughter and play and you'd be amazed how that unfolds you know it could just be some silly thing your pet does or maybe you see um you know animals outside I mean I talk to my animals that are outside the wildlife all the time you know the birds are always bickering and you know I'll tell them to cut it out and I just laugh at myself at my <laughs> my interaction with me being, um, you know, by myself, with myself, uh, but connected with nature. Uh, this afternoon, uh, I went out to throw some trash away and there was a crow sitting on top of a building and it was like, like it was screaming it was like talking really loudly so I just stopped and I looked up at it I, I soaked in the crow medicine crow is all about mystical magic energy and amazing things always happen when I'm um, gifted with crow medicine so I'm always available to receive it and I said all right friend you know you can take it down a notch and he flew off or she flew off and it was pretty cool so again that's what the brilliance and the radiance and the Oh, the magnitude and the blessing of your sensitivities, right? So I truly believe sensitivity is a superpower, right? And when you learn how to harness it and connect and be able to see the unseen, there are no surprises, you know? I've, I've, I've had many twists and turns and many curveballs, let's say, um, but I always had a sense that something was shifting. I always had a sense that something was coming, that something was about to change because, again, I see crow medicine or blood, butter butterfly medicine or flower medicine or something would come along that would kind of give me a heads up. So this is a really great time for you to practice being present, being really dialed in and connected to the universe, um, angels and guides, signs, numbers that are coming up, animals that are popping 
up in your life um, and really just being in gratitude because you know friends when you're dialed in and you're aligned and you're tuned in there is a freedom from the inside out um, that you really can't duplicate um, in the 3d world right so we're on a soul journey here soul is in singular and soul as in higher energy right from from the divine so honey Al is gifting you with joy this week laughter play angel love and really being able to um, harness your sensitivity as a superpower superpower to um, to uh, play with you know nature and and the, the messages that are coming to you so rapidly now as you as you expand in light right any shadow stuff needs to come up and out right so we're on a journey my friends let's see we got we're officially in uh the the, the last half or we've got six months left of this year we've already finished the first half now we're going into the second half as a first full week and so this could be a really great time for you to set intentions of like some things that you want to uh, move on or shift or change or learn about in the next six months right especially with the new moon in cancer if it's connected to your own sensitivities your intuition your spiritual journey home right home is in where you live home home is also your physical body home is also you know I feel home anywhere because God is always with me. Jesus always has my back. And so I try to create that energy and be aware that energy of, of home within me, all around me, wherever I am. So it's really great energy this, this week to connect with family and friends and really kind of move towards those people that are uplifting and supportive and playful and generous and kind because that's all all the gifts that you emulate to the world, right? The world needs your light. Uh, all right, so honey, Al, what message of healing do you have for the earth angels this week? What message of healing do you have for the earth angels this week? Okay, there we go. So we'll go with these two. Rubalite passion and purpose yes please so it says your enthusiasm <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty enthused I love working with angel energy if you can't tell so your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart so honey L can activate that joy within you right the joy of the lord is my strength i love that and you know that um that message came to me there was actually a person that showed up in my life and she put her hands on my i was kind of in a dark place in my life and joy was my word that year and she put her she she came up close to me <laughs> this <laughs> Per person who likes personal space, right? She came right up to me. She put her both her hands on my shoulders and she looked me dead in the eyes and said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And, and she helped me remember that with God, with God, joy radiates from me from the inside out. I don't have to do it alone. And that, friends, that changed the whole course of my year. So understand you're being activated in purpose and passion. And so understand passion comes from also a sense of satisfaction right you know it is it is important to move into that energy of satisfaction meaning um, being satisfied or accepting where you're at feeling satiated with the energy that's in you you know again I always refer back to that Rumi quote uh, I opened my arms to love and love embraced me like a lover right when you are connected and present and feeling the flow of love right here right now in the present moment when you are feeling the energy of freedom right here right now in the present moment there's an energy of satisfaction that comes over you a, a want for nothing knowing that deep down um, all your desires and all your needs are needs are met with with Jesus with God with the divine mother with source energy uh, whatever you're aligned with and 
from there, it activates a true passion, creativity. Um, I'm seeing also to the sacral chakra and addictions. So the shadow part of passion is addictive tendencies. And honestly, friends, we all struggle with some form of addiction. It's not always drugs or alcohol or gambling. It could be um, many things, codependency, it could be food, it could be um, procrastination, it could be um, limerence, right? Going over the past, uh, dwelling on the past or drama, <laughs> all these things, right? So that is all sacral chakra energy. So your message of healing this week is if you're clearing that stuff out and really wanting to shift the negatives into the positive, I guess, or the, the low vibrating energy into shifting into a higher vibration, call on Archangel Haniel. You have to keep doing the deep inner work, right? All the time, laughter and play and joy can transmute that energy. So, uh, you know, ways, ways that you can activate that energy is like, I mean, I think I've mentioned before, my favorite thing to do to activate joy is to go onto YouTube and watch baby goats. I love watching baby goats in sweaters, jumping all around the farm, jumping over the sheep and jumping over their buddies, falling over. <laughs> it's my favorite thing, right? And so again, this is you being proactive and being responsible for how you're feeling, right? Not to suppress it, but to remember what it's like to feel joy. Um, this afternoon, I had some really fun music going on and, you know, it just filled my tank and I just felt high vibe. So, you know, I myself personally am coming out of a, a dark space of um, shifting and transformation and, and growth. And so, you know, you're being asked to radiate your light to the world. And when you're passionate, when you're excited, when you're smiling, when you're exuding joy, just because you are just happy to be you, it is infectious. And this is how we change the world. So your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that is dear to your heart. So she's saying, get going, sensitive souls. So the other healing message is uh, kind night. So make time for self care absolutely taking care of yourself is essential right now so uh, again I've been doing that as well I've been really in a bubble cocoon space and really practicing a different level of self-care um, learning how to be with myself learning about what my needs are and how to meet them on my own fully accepting who I am you know remember we're, we're all human here we're all going through changes and shifts it doesn't matter where you're at on your spiritual journey what you know what you think you know how far you've come we're all evolving and shifting and it is a life homework right when you're on the spiritual journey you're always growing evolving assimilating processing might as well have fun with it laugh and play and sing and dance so um, again if you're not feeling this energy if you're feeling sensitivity is in raw and emotional which is really a beautiful thing friends we have to really start embracing the emotions of the of the physical body especially the divine feminines out there well I shouldn't say feminines, even, and the masculines. I, the divine feminines and ma divine masculines really, really, really need to embrace emotions and feelings and being able to communicate and express to yourself and then your friends and your family and your partners. So if you're not feeling pa passion or purpose, or you're feeling that void, this is how you get there, right? Self-care and being able to ask yourself, why do I feel like this? Not ask yourself, cancel that. Ask the divine sitting in prayer and saying, why am I feeling this way? What is clouding my vision? What do I need to do to move forward? What is the best actions, right? Connecting with the Holy Spirit, following the leads. And when you ask, understand that, you know, listening is really important and creating space and time for messages and guidance to come, come right? But so many of us, we're learning how to act instead of react powerful energy all right so what are you being gifted with this week from the oracle of the angels what are you being gifted with this week what are you being gifted with this week
power. <gasps> yes, look at it. I love the sword straight up, right? It's almost like in the heavens, so looking up. So I'm also feeling that some of you may be feeling alone. Maybe you're feeling isolated. Maybe you're feeling despondent or contempt. Maybe you're just consumed by uh, the astrology and the energies and the people of the world, and that's okay. You know, that's part of being human. Um, and so the universe is, angels are gifting you with power. And this, I want to add the word before it, like empowerment, E-M, and then meant. <laughs> so I want to add to that, empowerment. You're being empowered this week. So eight is an abundance number. It is also a number that's connected to cycles and patterns. So some of you this week might be looking at the cycles and the patterns. Maybe you're looking at the experiences that you've had or the way now that you've dropped down into your body and you're really working with feelings and your emotions. You might be experiencing energies over and over again. This is a week to really work with it in a fun way, in a playful way. You know, I've been doing a lot with attachment theory. And so I've been studying about anxious attachment and avoidant attachment and anxious preoccupied and fearful avoidant and all those uh, fun terms we like to uh, work with in the healing uh, the healing process and um, you know looking at the patterns and the cycles of your the dynamics of your friendships just from a place of observation your friendships your experiences your relationship patterns just being able to observe the the way you have felt in those experiences and letting the emotions rise up can really shift these cycles and these patterns that you might be experiencing over and over again right it's a challenge to look at it and experience it because the ego freaks out and it gets all crazy and doesn't want you to see it right because it doesn't want to change um you know parts of the ego I shouldn't say all the ego because there's some beautiful benefits to the ego of us um you know but there's that part that's limiting right and so we're breaking past the glass ceilings we're really busting past using our voice and 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 really shifting um into our individuality right this is who I am a unique individual kind of separating from the pack here so you're being gifted with power and those earth angels those of you who have been doing your work and you're feeling empowered I commend you I um, am so inspired by you because I know that this work is not and this earth angel path is not an easy journey you have to remember you are the leaders you're at the forefront even though sometimes you feel alone and isolated you don't know what you're doing or where you're going this is why it's so important to be dialed in and connected to the divine at all times right so you know we do that through pause and stillness and uh, silence and rest and surrender and nothingness all those fun words I like to use right of value and so we're kind of in this space of of empowerment and rising up and being able to share our gifts and supporting others who are going through their cycles and their patterns so again those of you who are dialed into power this week congratulations you've done some really amazing work so if you are in the space where you're feeling satisfied and you're feeling passionate not even having to work on anything you're just feeling love just in the moment just savor it and radiate send it out put your hands up at your shoulders and just imagine that you're sending that love all around the globe right uh, all around the planet to every plant animal kingdom and, and all humans um, and that's how you can kind of gift your light and your love to the world and still keep your boundaries in space so power being gifted with power this week and harmony perfect look at this it almost feels like great balance we've got masculine energy we've got feminine energy masculine energy you think about the sun it grows things and the feminine energy is all about harmony it's receptive it's nurturing it's maternal right so um we're seeing the number seven here which is a divine feminine number so you're being gifted with harmony and peace oh wow i'm hearing the thunder outside I don't know if you can hear that, but it's thundering. How ironic, right? Uh, that that it's almost like shaking things up, right? Things are being broken up here, and um, skies are starting to. Uh, 
downpour uh, here, which which is suiting because the rain is very, very, very cleansing, cleansing and purifying. So you're being gifted with power and harmony this week. Maybe you need a little of both. Maybe you need one over the other. But being able to just sit in the energies of this is so, so beautiful. So here, I don't know if I showed the card here. There's some harmony, right? We're in our bubble. Earth angels love to be in their bubble. <laughs> All right. So what actions can you take this week to support your healing? What actions can you take this week to support your healing? Angels. Angels. Honey L specifically, right? <laughs> Let's see. Let's have it just pop out loud and clear. There it is. Ooh, past life healing. Forget me not, says the flower. It says this situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing into the present. I love this. Um, I don't know if that's clear or not. Uh, I think this might also be part of, um, I feel like it's all connected to the work that some of you may be doing this week. So you've got sensitivity, uh, you know, maybe you're trying to activate this energy within you. Uh, and so taking time for self-care for some of you, again, I was talking earlier about the empowerment and the eight and the cycles and rhythms for some of you, it's, you know, it doesn't even have to be like beyond this lifetime. Past life can be like your past in this lifetime. So for some of you, this could be a week of reflection. It could be a week of asking the divine right sitting in that bubble and asking the divine show me what I may not be seeing how do I detach from these people places things and ideas that are may you may feel are connected to an identity who am I without these people places things and ideas right you can sit and ask the, the, the creator to download his definition of unconditional love in your vibration the thing is the angels angels are uh, earth angels are really gifted with the beautiful energy energy of unconditional love you're so generous and kind and caring and that's that's what you know is the, really the balance in the world but also we've learned that not everybody is in that space, right? The generations before us really operated on conditional love. Do for me and I'll do for you. If you don't do for me, then I'm going to pull my love away. That is one of my biggest karma like things that I've had to really work with is um, boundaries and being taken advantage of and conditional love and it's so painful my friends so you know so we have to kind of look at these things and saying okay how can we gift ourselves unconditional love how can we activate that level of self-respect and dignity and integrity and you know boundaries within ourselves if, by practicing self-care and being okay to be with yourself right harmonizing your inner masculine and feminine energies and that does require reflection of the past you know every single experience that's come into your life is an opportunity for you to learn right there are challenges and there's also things that will label blessings and gifts right you know I feel like every experience every human being that's crossed my path in some way or another has gifted me with medicine has gifted me with learning and I treasure that even though some of them have been really hard and really painful you know being able to create a safe space for yourself to go back and revisit these experiences and saying and asking the questions what could I do differently how could I empower myself in those situations you know I certainly jump into things and then afterwards I'm like oh my gosh I made a mistake <laughs> I get caught up and, you know, um, you know, I got, you know, swept up or, you know, and afterwards I'm like, all right, God, let's learn from this. Let's move through it. Right. And it happens in all, all dynamics of relationships, all dynamics of growth and expansion. And, you know, I'll be intuitive, get intuitive guidance about something and I'll do something completely different. And, you know, this is how we learn, right? So having grace and being really forgiving uh, when you're revisiting past lives um, in the healings. 
uh, you know, can be can be very powerful. If you have past life, um, hi buddy, my doggy just came in for a visit. He's gifting us with his unconditional love. Um, so uh, if you have past life oracle cards, maybe you could go into those. Uh, Brian Weiss has phenomenal past life guided meditations. Um, I've been trained by Brian Weiss, so um, I feel confident in sharing him as a teacher. Uh, I did his past life regression training and, um, you know, I really enjoy his work. So he could be somebody I feel is a good um, master for you to work with uh, as well with regards to past life healing. But like I said, you want to look at this lifetime too. All right, final message here, friends. I think I want to keep it short and sweet. Where are we at? Hmm. That's about the same time. So, angel prayer. What is your prayer? What is your prayer? What angel prayer does Haniel have for you this week? What's her prayer for you this week? Let's see. I'll take these two. Take time to breathe. I'm telling you, friends, self-care, right? Getting in your bubble, especially when you're feeling sensitive. It's really going to empower you. Uh, it says, thank you, angels. I breathe with ease, knowing you're here. Oh, my God, this couldn't be any more perfect, right? I know, buddy. I think he's scared because he hears the thunder. So um, it's okay. I know. It's okay. So take time to breathe um, this week. So pause, rest, stillness, right? Um, all right, let's move these over. So we have them all here. All right, and final message. I love it. Take a step back reflection. So thank you angels for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. Friends, I mean, I, these messages, every single one of these cards basically has the same message, has the same meaning, right? So reflection this week, uh, pause. Uh, this is where you find your power. This is where you find your harmony within, right? This is where you connect with your passion and purpose and your gift to communicate and share, uh, you know, your the blessings of your um, sensitivity, right? Your intuition, your receptivity, your wisdom, your feeling body, right? I feel like this is a lot of really feminine energy this week. So if you've been going, taking a lot of action, this week for it could be a time for you to pause and reflect. And I know that's a challenge for some of you, right? So when we sit or we pause, that's when all the stuff comes up. So maybe this is the week to work on that. But remember, you don't have to work on, on it alone, you know? Uh, uh, there are a lot of teachers and spiritual mentors and guys out there that can support you, right? So that's my divine guidance and life purpose work. But there are a lot of uh, really great informational videos online, uh, especially on YouTube. And so all you got to do is ask the angels to guide you to the right teachers, to the right information. And one thing leads to another. You'll be amazed how when you follow those golden nuggets, your life changes one step at a time. I love it. Take time to breathe. Take a step back. Make time for self-care. And this is where we find our empowerment and harmony. I love it. Oh gosh, there's so much purple here. Purple third eye crown chakra, right? Uh, connecting with the divine, looking up. I just absolutely love these readings. And I thank you for showing up. I love that you're here and you enjoy receiving these beautiful blessings. So let me close space for us. Let me thank all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, the divine mother and father, and all their holy beings of light that assisted with this guidance, especially the archangel Haniel this week, the angel of joy and passion, uh, adventure, play, laughter, fun, and freedom. All right, I'm going to ask that any healing that was started continue for as long as it needs to be done. And 
Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be online for a few more short weeks and then I'm going to start adjusting my schedule and opening back up to be in the office for those of you who are local. Um, of course, if I can support you in any way, uh, the information on how to connect with me or reach, with, reach me is in the notes below or below this video. And yes, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I love you, friends. God loves you so much. Trust in the divine. Trust your intuition. And I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye for now.